Today what we are going to start about is uh, amyloidosis. We have already discussed about the whole step by step uh, growth adaptations in the cell injury in the cell death. In cell death we discussed about what? We discussed about the process, we discussed about the apoptosis. apoptosis. So now free radical injury and what is amyloidosis? These are two di different things. Free radical injury we have already discussed. But now, today, we are going to start amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is like very common. Um, it depends upon the proteins. It's related to the proteins. This disease is related to the proteins. So what we have to do in first is amyloidosis. Amyloid means deposition. Okay? Deposition of proteins. So this is the deposition of proteins in the extracellular space thereby damaging the tissues. It's, it's just like that then there are normal proteins just get the concept. Don't write the things about. <clears throat> these are the normal proteins. But if these are deposited in certain organ or the tissue then it's, it becomes difficult for the tissue for the organ to work. You know, for example, uh, we take the example of the heart. We have got this, the left ventricle and the left atrium. For example, we get to know that there are some depositions of uh, proteins here. You know, proteins are everywhere. If there is abnormal protein deposited there, then the heart becomes stiff over there. Okay, if the heart becomes stiff, it cannot pump out. Simply, this is the left ventricle it has to pump and the blood goes out into the aorta but if it becomes stiff so how can you uh, push the um, left ventricle and then the blood goes out it becomes difficult for it to work so in <clears throat> myocardium myocardial deposition we can say that uh, <clears throat> amyloidosis to some extent it happens gradually we will discuss about uh, the localized amyloidosis we will discuss about the systemic amyloidosis but for here we are going to talk about like what amyloidosis actually means amyloidosis means the deposition into the specific area or in the extra in the extracellular space and thus thereby damaging the tissues this is the simple definition of amyloidosis but here, there is something more than definition. <clears throat> will, uh, what it will do? It will stain blue color with iodine. How can we detect it? Microscopically, when we see, then we can get to know that it stains blue color with iodine. Second thing, that um, <clears throat> in amyloidosis, what happens? That if, in, if we see uh, in the micron, Electron microscope or light microscope first. Light microscope. What we will see? We will see certain kind of depositions and um, <clears throat> but in electron microscope we will see that there is colored like red apple colored depositions. So in different microscopes we see different things. If we have got the technique of a light microscope, we will see uh, just simple depositions. But if we will go through the electron microscope, then we will get to know about the Congo red staining. In light microscope, there will be just beta pleating. And I already told you what is beta pleating. Beta pleating means that normal proteins are? Alpha helicals. Alpha helix. Alpha helicals. Okay? But beta pleating this means this so it's not our normal body protein so amyloidosis means the changing of the protein but in electron microscope what it happens we feel like we feel like congo red staining congo red staining America. Now, second thing which I'm going to tell you in the pancreas. 
like tarping. Thirdly, what we have discussed about is in non-insulin dependent. What it happens in the pancreas? The proteins goes over there and they become deposited. Then, uh, uh, like in, it's like non-insulin dependent. We work. Why we call it non-insulin? Uh, non-insulin dependent because it uh, it affects the isolates of the pancreas. Okay, but it doesn't. It, but it doesn't involve that insulin. Insulin is there proper. Insulin is working there properly. But what happens is pancreas are damaged. After some time, if the pancreas are damaged, then you have to know that insulin will also be not formed. After some time. It doesn't have to relate with the insulin. It has to relate with the isolates of pancreas. Then um, uh, what happens? There is the inflammation of the beta cells. Uh, like you know, there are alpha cells, there are beta cells, there is delta cells and stuff like that. So in the pancreas, what we can say, it looks like a leaf shape. So there are beta cells. It, bec it becomes inflammated. These cells become inflammated. When there is inflammation of the beta cells, then you can say that insulin is not properly formed. This is the indirect insulin <coughs> affection. So we can say this is non-insulin dependent amyloidosis. It's not due to the insulin increasement. This is due to the inflammation of the beta cells. Third thing, we can say that there is Alzheimer's disease. You have already discussed about the Alzheimer's. Anyone who could tell me about the Alzheimer's disease? You have studied. You have surely studied in the higher schools. Yeah, I'm sure the older age. I'm talking about what this disease actually is. In older age, the people get started uh, forgetting the things, and there is a blur region. So, mm -hmm. um, after 70 or 80 years of the, especially the male, they are affected by. Okay. There is a AB alpha and beta peptide. AB peptide over there. This is for example, he is telling the uh, symptoms and these are right that it happens in the 70 years of age. You know. After that there is deposition and they uh, forget the things, there is forgetfulness, there is dementia and the stuff like that. Alzheimer's disease I'll teach you in the CNS um, uh, pathology and pharmacology and the whole lectures, series of lectures there. But here you have to get to know about the amyloidosis and the Alzheimer's disease. They have, uh, Alzheimer's disease have many, many, many causes. Okay. But one of the causes which we are going to discuss is amyloidosis. Okay. For example, here is what? Probably it looks like a new one. Okay, what happens that a my A B beta peptide or the proteins deposited deposits here. If there is deposition in the neurons of proteins, then it cannot work properly, it cannot send signals properly, it cannot generate the masses, it cannot send the signals, it cannot become a good carrier, it cannot good it cannot become a good postman. Neurons are the postman. You already, um, probably you know. Carry signals? Yeah, they, they carry signals. So what happens is they cannot um, uh, like carry the signals properly. So we get to know that there is a disease called Alzheimer's disease. In the symptoms we get dementia, this, this, this. But it, it will not work properly. This is happens due to the amyloidosis. Okay. What are these? These are the proteins. Deposited proteins. Deposited proteins. And because of them, they don't carry signals properly. Oh yes. This protein do you malate the mal uh, malation? Okay, we can say this primary. Um, 
amyloidosis in which where is what the deposition of I need answers light chains light chains immunoglobin light chains Excess of everything is bad. There is excess of light chains that causes the deposition over there. Okay. Now, the second condition in which we are going to discuss about is plasma cell dyskaryosis. This is the same condition. Multiple myeloma or the plasma cell. Plasma cell dyskaryosis. This is the normal so AL amyloid deposited over there, this condition is called as multiple myeloma and then you can also say this is plasma cell dyskaryosis. In hematology, like uh, after some videos, I'm going to teach about, I'm going to talk about the plasma cell dyskaryosis, multiple myeloma and all the diseases about the blood. So for the further, um, you know, for the further details, you can go through that video too. Okay, next. We can find, or oh, what we can find, there is a, <clears throat> for, by this, we can say there is a, the same light chains are converted into these volumes. Yeah, the same light chain. This is the same light chain that has been uh, deposited, uh, like, formed here. So, they will go into the blood and there will be accumulation of these um, light chains. Then they will get misfolded over there. And also called the plasma cell discovery. Yeah, yes, true. So now we can say in the nephrotic syndrome, we have also got the nephrotic syndrome in which we are going to say that there is the deposition of this kind of proteins. So this is the um, uh, nephrotic syndrome by amyloidosis. So most common organs involved is kidney. Then we can say that there is restrictive cardiomyopathy. This is. we can say there is tongue enlargement due to this. I've, I've just seen the case in which uh, I saw a patient. He was so like, uh, he had so enlarged tongue that he it couldn't even talk. His cheeks were full and he couldn't even swallow the food which we gave him. So there was a patient that was too critical but um, it was due to this misfolding protein deposition. So he cannot talk, he cannot uh, uh, properly breathe, he cannot uh, also uh, like properly eat. So when he couldn't uh, breathe, we have to like uh, uh, make made another ways of uh, like you know, giving oxygen and for breathing and stuff like that. So this was all about the systemic amyloidosis. We have got one condition. FMF, familiar Mediterranean fever. It's just like, um, okay, we will discuss it afterwards because we have got a long lecture on this kind of disease. So let me remind you that uh, we have got three conditions, multiple myeloma or the plasma cell dyskaryosis or uh, like um, restrictive cardiomyopathy by the systemic amyloidosis and FMM, familiar Mediterranean fever. These are the three conditions by this. Now, what we are going to talk about is the localized amyloidosis. For example, this is a normal cell that produces these normal proteins and you know protein, how proteins are formed by ribosomes you know it formed this kind of proteins but due to certain conditions this this starts doing overproduction and misforming you remember what this starts overproduction and also misforming or the excess forming <coughs> 